So now let's code the event for saving a file. So when the user clicks the save, then we will save the file with whatever changes the user made. Since we are writing into a file, I'm going to create stream writer and it's going to be output file. So that's just the name of it that I'm giving it. And of course we want new instance of stream writer. And we want to save this file in a location that the user selects from the dialog box. So we'll go to DLG save and we will save it with the file name and location that the user specified. So we use the file name property, just like when we were opening the file. And now we will write the file in that location. So we'll go to output file and perform a write. Not write line, but write because we are writing all the text that's in the text box now. So we are passing what we want to write and that's the txt editor, the text property. So all the text in the editor will be written into a text file now. And that's it. We wrote the file and now we can close the connection. So output file dot close. Now, of course, there's one more thing I actually forgot, and that is to use this open dialog first. Because I need to first show the dialog box before I can actually perform anything. So my bad, but let's just wrap everything in the if statement. But this time DLG save is going to be checked. So we'll show the dialog for that. And if this one is OK, meaning the dialog result is OK, then we will perform the saving. So I'll just copy everything and place it inside of this if statement. All right, so that's all. That's how we save the file. Let's see if it works. I'll click start. And I'm going to first open a file. And we go to the location that I opened last. So I'm going to open the same file, exercises.txt. And you can see it opened everything as it was before. Now the formatting is different than when I opened it the first time because remember I unchecked bold, italics and underline and I only left the medium size for the font. So let's make some changes. Let's say I want this to be calendar instead of calendar exercise. So I'll make it add. I'll leave class two and I will delete all the rest. So let's see if we can save this file now. I'll go to file, save. It opens the save dialog. You can see save file. We can only save text files, you can see down here. And I'm going to call this one exercises2 and click save. I'm going to exit the application and restart it. And now I'm going to open our new file. So I'll go open and now I'll go to exercises2 and you can see we have the edited file. So we have only calendar, so the edit was successful and everything else was deleted. So now we have a text editor that kind of resembles the actual text editor you are used to, like a notepad, for example. So we are now able to open and save configuration, and we are now also able to open and save text files. So I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you learned something new, and I will see you in the next video.